let me start with this intro to self-driving cars nano degree program. You already have something about self-driving cars uh, program, but this is different in that it's meant to be more accessible to a whole new world of students. Yeah, so I mean, self-driving car is the buzzword of 2017. Everybody talks about it, the government, and we all understand if they succeed, there'll be more than a million, five, two million jobs on the line. We want to uh, help everybody to become an engineer in this space and be a contributor. So when we come to Gidacity, you can actually learn how to be a self-driving car engineer and, and join Silicon Valley and many other companies in building these amazing technologies. And in partnering with Lyft on these 400 full scholarships, are you explicitly aiming to target, say, women and minorities, those who might not be your typical applicants? Yes, Udacity has a very strong social mission. We try to bring in minorities, we try to bring women, people of color. And also geographically, we have a very strong presence in the Middle East as our, as our corporate contribution to the Middle East to make sure that young people in the Middle East have a, a new perspective to life. But the core of all this is we really care about people to learn something interesting and participate. So many of us are left behind, smart people are left behind, and the universities are not taking care of us. We really at Udacity really try to reach people of all ages, all geographies, all ethnicities, and all financial backgrounds. I want to ask you more broadly about what's going on in this self-driving car space, because clearly there's a great deal of excitement. But what we've seen from the likes of, of Google and Apple is that they've quite fundamentally recalibrated their plans. Why do you think that's happening? What is it about the industry that's forcing them, in a sense, to make these changes? I think it's, a, it's still a tough technical problem. We still don't have a car that would be what we call level five, where you can just fall asleep and it drives safely. But the race is on. In the last, I say, two years, the number of startup companies and even the number of big OEMs have joined the game has been staggering. If you look at the automotive industry today, I would say that self-driving cars are the hottest topic that ever existed. 